Now for updates on the evacuation, we are now connected with our reporter, Rebecca Natukupulu. Hi, Rebecca. Where have Indonesian citizens in Ukraine been evacuated so far? Yes, Alia, that's right. Indonesia has evacuated 31 of its citizens from Ukraine overland to neighboring countries, Poland and Romania, as military attacks around Ukraine intensified. 25 Indonesian citizens were successfully evacuated from Odessa, Ukraine to Bucharest, Romania, held by the Indonesian Embassy of Bucharest while six others with one foreigners as the partner of one Indonesian citizen were successfully evacuated to Lviv, uh, from Lviv to Dezo, Poland. All of the citizens are in safe and in good condition as reported by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry had formed a team and prepared aircraft to evacuate Indonesians stranded in Ukraine from Poland and Romania as flights have been banned from Ukrainian airspace. Following the military attack, the ministry also urged Indonesian citizens in Ukraine to gather at the Indonesian embassy in Kyiv, uh, where they have um, gathered, there many of the Indonesians have gathered their embassy as the main shelter. But for those who are unable to reach the embassy, they were asked to stay home while the embassy is looking for, state, for safe routes for evacuation. Of course, this is the best thing that they can do as the safety of the citizens is the main priority for Indonesian government. Besides gathering the Indonesian citizens in safe shelters, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has also been in close contacts with Indonesians in Ukraine with the help from the Indonesian Embassy of Kyiv, the ministry has held town hall meetings with Indonesians in Ukraine. The first one was held on February 24th with another follow-up on 25th to have an update on their situations and also to deliver the plan that the government has prepared for the evacuation process. As of today, the, the Embassy of Kyiv recorded there are 153 Indonesians in Ukraine most of the citizens reside in Kyiv and Odessa who work as migrant workers in manufacture and hospitality area. There are also students and spouses of the local residents and the Indonesian government guarantee the safety of all the Indonesian citizens in Ukraine. Back to the studio. Thank you, uh, Rebecca. Right. We certainly wish the safety and the best for the 122 remaining Indonesians and the many, many more Ukrainians out there. We'll talk to you again soon, Becca. Thank you.